you wipe that smile off your face? <laughs> I honestly don't think I can. I can't believe you left them alone. Right now he could be down on one knee. Do you think he'll make you change your last name to Palmer? <sighs> You're a horrible person, mm, you know that? I love it. <clears throat> but did you get a chance to suss out how your mum feels? I tried, but I already know the answer. She loves him and he loves her. So you're not going to do anything stupid like swallow the wedding ring? I've decided I'm going to leave it up to them. Whatever happens, happens. We'll be okay now. We had trend locks. Oh, Zave, that's not funny. So, what's Shandy like? She seems nice enough. She's very different to John. Obviously. And what about you? How are you dealing with it? I mean, there's this whole other part of Mr. Palmer's life that you never knew about. I would be freaking out. It'll be okay. Now tell me, which one of these do you prefer? Because John's taking me to dinner at Stefan's. Why? Because he wants to, and after today we could both use the distraction. Uh, that that one. one. Okay, I'm sorry, Zave. You'll excuse me if I prefer April's sense of style over yours. And I think I've got a matching bag somewhere. Fancy clothes, a nice restaurant. Tonight must be the night. He's going to propose. That's probably why I feel sick. Well, 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 if it isn't the closet hippie. Yeah, very funny. Mock me at your peril, kid. Oh, what are you going to do? Tie yourself to something and start singing Kumbaya? Saviour? How'd it go with Shandy? Fine. We talk some more. She seems a very nice person. No thanks to me. Hey, uh, what say we uh, postpone our evening out? Are you not feeling well? No, 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 no. Ticker's fine. I just think a quiet night in might be the way to go. That's fine. We can go out to dinner any time. Okay. Uh, I'm going to jump onto the shower. The guy was going to propose and he just cancelled. Oh, he must be really shaken up. Yeah. Turn the glove. Double shut down? Absolutely. Sharp suit. Wait, but aren't you meant to be over at my place now? I'm on my way. Oh, well, don't worry. Bianca's a great cook. Maybe not so great at the cleaning up afterwards, but that's where she has slaves, right? What's with you? You're all nervous. You're sweaty. Oh, it's the suit. Maybe I'm a little overdressed. <laughs> yeah, I noticed. No, something's up. Hey, if you're going to hurt my sister again... April, you've always been straight to the point. Brutally so on occasion. Just where my sister is involved. You have every right not to trust me. I'm just awful I can do enough to prove I'm a different man now. What's that? From what I understand, Bianca threw the first ring into the ocean. Hopefully I will have better luck this time. When you offered to walk me, I was expecting a lecture. You want to propose to Bianca, I can't stop you. That doesn't mean you don't have the right to tell me how you feel. <laughs> You already know how I feel. Look, I get that you love her, but you said you loved her before and you still jumped into bed with your ex. You don't think it is possible for someone to truly change? I think people can. I'm just not sure you have. If you have got any doubt in your heart, Vittorio, even a flicker, then do the right thing and leave my sister alone. If I had any doubt in my heart, I would take the easy option and walk away. Okay, well, if Bianca is really what you want, then be careful. You hurt her. And now you're trying to rush her into something that well, she might not even be ready for. Think about what you're doing. You're going to have to try and forget what's going on back at the house, no, girlie. I'm, I'm trying, believe me. I've had to stop myself from calling her like ten times. <laughs> Do you really think she's going to say yes? No. Okay, well, I don't think so. She was so angry at him when he turned up. And, no, no, it's, it's way too soon. Ah, uh, big to differ, love. Seemed to me she was ready to forgive him. And she told me she still loves him. She did? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, that doesn't really mean that much anyway. Since when? So, she was crying tears over Liam not that long ago. Ah, uh, yes, but you see, Liam is not here to state his case. And Princey is moving heaven and earth to win her back. I guess we'll just have to wait till we get home, darling. Well, at least someone's going to be happy tonight. Your mum is definitely going to say yes to Palmer. Do you really have to rub it in? Do you really hate the idea that much? If it's what she wants, she deserves to be happy. 
What I want really doesn't matter. I thought your mum would have called by now to break the big news. They're probably too busy celebrating. What you need is something to take your mind off it. What do you feel like watching? Something with cars crashing into stuff and guys hitting each other. And romance it is. Oh, come on. I'm about to get enough of that to last a lifetime. You're back early. How'd it go? Fine. Just fine? Oh, great. You told Xavier. He is your son. I felt he deserved to know. So, yes, I told him. And I don't feel like arguing about it right now. What happened? Ask your mother. I need some air. Mixed with beer. What's going on? We'll talk about it tomorrow. It's been a long day. I want it to be over. Sports are me. Fabian. 